Hello, hi. This is lesson four in uh, server side side scripting using uh, TCL uh, Revit. And uh, in this lesson, I'm going to talk about printing results on the web page or the website. Now, uh, every uh, script in uh, TCL, okay, or Revit, it should start with this. This is just only the on the web, okay, not in real TCL. So it should start with this okay and ends with this one this is just because of the Arabic uh, switching Arabic language switching so it starts with the this and ends with this okay so it ends with a question mark greater than and starts with uh, less than and question mark okay cool so now printing is just normal like normal TCL we just use the even the same uh, commands of uh, TCL to set the variables and same printing command the puts here put string and to uh, set a variable we've got like the set command as usual I'm making a message it has a string named uh, hello world okay and now I'm going to print uh, this page. Let me see here, uh, which is this one. Okay. Now I've made a file named lesson4.tcl and I put it in my uh, document root, as we said in the previous lesson. And I just, uh, as I told you, how we access it in the previous lesson. So this is the address localhost slash rvt slash lesson4. This is in my own local machine. Now, uh, you notice that I'm printing here things which are uh, formatted, okay? And they use the HTML formatting. So here I'm replacing the, or substituting this variable, okay? And like normal HTML, the, uh, the BRs and the B for the bold and I for italic and U for the underline are being uh, printed out but uh, I mean like what you're gonna see is just the formatted formatted text okay you don't you won't be seeing uh, the TCL at all because this is the uh, the purpose of processing the strings and also I have a uh, the file that is received by the browser is this only so see this is all the data that I've received and I want to tell you also that the slash n here okay is just this one okay the second line and um, uh, so what you saw inside your browser is just one line of breaking okay so where did that second slash n go in HTML of course this has no meaning it's just uh, the slash n has a meaning uh, as a normal file okay there's no meaning as a HTML so you, all you get is just the source code as such there's no TCL at all if there's some kind of a JavaScript it will be printed out but there's a problem with the JavaScript uh, that it uh, interferes with uh, the TCL code where here see in our code here this is wrong why this one here is wrong why because in TCL the uh, bracket here has a meaning which is the execution something like when you say um, let's say set sum as expr expression of uh, 1 uh, plus 2 okay so this should give you uh, 1 plus 2 let's put it in a string like this 
so this is the sum okay so this is for execution purpose so if I want to substitute it right here okay I write some bracket inside the string because you can't do something like let's say we can do this also okay so this would replace it for three okay let's see if I get a bug doesn't matter but it will be fixed see I got three below so this is for execution purpose so in uh, uh, but this bracket is also used as JavaScript uh, array uh, bracket the one for indexing something like this so what I should do is put this backslash okay just to escape it so the correct way is to type it this way so let's let's imagine that I have removed this command and I want to run it and I want to have this array having uh, three numbers three and four and four as an array for JavaScript and the JavaScript is already uh, or I mean is supposedly uh, translated or uh, per, uh, processed by the browser at the client side okay so this is what should happen now I say yes I did save so I get this problem and see invalid command name 333 what are you talking about because when you talk about square brackets it means that there should should be empty uh, uh, command so that's why I should use and return this command first and I should use the one that has escapes okay so if I reload it cool so the JavaScript which come which is, which is coming from the alert here okay is now running perfectly so that's all about the uh, printing on the website now uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, add your comments thanks